Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. Last time around, it was actually episode number 50, so we're, we're pretty far into this. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. Last time around, we got to Zootopolis City and explored that place, and today, this time, I promise you guys, we're heading down Route 127, and hopefully getting to... Those pesky Team Magmas! Let's take them down once and for all now! So anyway, I still got Bubbles uh, in... Just chilling in the box because of course, we we're going to need Dive from Waylord. But anyway, finally we're on to Route 127, but of course, there's some trainers on the way. Through fishing, I've attained a state of the calm serenity. Please, allow me to demonstrate. Yes! Please allow you to demonstrate it against me, Yona, and your lovely disc, your lovely little disc here. And I'll show you my lovely little sin head budding. Yeah, okay, play out. Well, that's not. Even. Oh, oh yeah, it's the less HP it has, it does more damage. Well, I almost confused it there for whatever reason, and it actually lives. Okay, okay, now flip. I was about to say Flay would act Flay would actually do more damage now, but I got the quick lock activation, so I won't complain about that. And we got several relicant here, so let's just switch out of it there and bring in Pond. Now that I fully restore them, I I now have some more leaf storms at my disposal. And last time around was act was actually episode number 50 of this series, so. It's getting to be quite a long series, which I kind of anticipated. All of my Pokemon series are really long. I don't think there's been a series that has been under 50. Well, maybe my Pokemon Platinum. Well, my most recent Pokemon Platinum Let's Play was under 50 episodes. I don't quite remember, but I didn't include the after game in that Let's Play. So anyway, well, hey, this is a match between a Pokemon fan and a fishing buff. Who is the Pokemon fan and who is the fishing buff again? Anyway, Roger that, Whalmer! Get out there, Matang. I, I kind of feel like Matang is getting kind of behind on things. Well, not in terms of leveling up, but in terms of damage. Uh, well, I guess it was pretty. Well, he's going to spin himself underwater and we can't do anything. What? Ah, oh, I thought maybe boulders would work, even though it would have been under. Of course, he gets a freaking critical hit. And quick light activation. Quick light activation when I don't need it. Thank you very much, game. Just like those critical hits when you don't need them. Anyway, Wellmer is down, and what do we have? Sharpedo! That could be good trying out. Trying out Break Break, but I don't want to try it out against a Sharpedo. That could be a bad idea. Anyway, let's just discharge the Sharpedo, and we're actually faster than it. I actually think that Sharpedo is actually slower than the next week just normally, so I don't know why I said that. No, my line's all tangled. The party's over. I'm the party poopa! Anyway, whoops! Don't tell me I snagged a surfing Pokemon. Don't tell me I snagged. Okay, I guess he's looking for Pokemon under the sea. How cruel, isn't it, Henry? Or is your name pronounced Henri? I don't know. Are you French? I don't think so, but whatever. It's a sand head, buddy. Bubble Beam! Oh no! Whatever shall I do? I do know! Sand Headbutt! And down you go. Thank you very much for one hit KO there, Matang. And a level 44 on attack. And oh, Yes! Meteor Mash! Oh, I thought it would actually be more powerful. The target is hit with a hard punch fi fire like a meteor. This may also raise the uses of X that I do believe it was it was actually more powerful in previous generation. I do believe it's at least 100 base power. I thought it would be over 100, but it's only 90. But let's just get rid of Iron Head, Iron Way. Has that chance of uh, racing its attacks that it doesn't have lower accuracy, so may have been a dumb option, but 
Iron Head also has their chance of flinching, but since my tank is really slow, I don't think I'm going to be able to take advantage of that effect, but... Anyway, let's see... Do believe... Yeah, we can surf down here if my memory serves correctly. And there should be a diving spot down here. Yes! Uh... Okay, uh... Well, I thought there was another place that was like isolated and can dive down. But that may actually be an area that is coming up uh, down south. Anyway, it's a door! And it's... Why did I say it like that? And it's pins here! Oh man! Good thing that, it, that isn't a... That isn't going to be a Mega Evolve pins here, because they could actually be quite bad. Anyway, let's bring up Barb here, because that thing could potentially use Exister, and it could really be bad for my tank. Yeah. Exister prediction skills! Our own point! Anyway, let's fly up in the air sometimes, saying a oh, oh! That pincer uses, or that trainer also has those predicting skills. Anyway, fly down! Oh, it actually lives! Oh god, oh god, storm, storm throw! Oh, that's a fighting type move. Well, I'm like, that was a critical hit. I know I four times resisted, but still. And a shock! And down you go. That pincer could have been bad, but fortunately, it wasn't too bad. Like Michael Jackson. I'm gonna fall in! Well... Sometimes you just need a little push. It's not easy... It's not easy being an ace trainer, eh? I'm wearing my swimsuit under my shirt. The shirt makes it play... Makes it plain that I'm an ace trainer. So I guess if, he, if she just falls down into the water... She could just get up because she's just, or she could she could swim if she falls into. The, well, she could still swim with her, her regular clothes, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to make sense out of here, but meteor mash. Oh, probably one of my favorite motion on the third generation, or at least how it looked the back then. And it just sounds so cool just using meteor mash. Anyway, we got a dust flops here, so. Get out of Rasula! Show you, show you how you take. Show me how you take. How you like to take care of dust clubs. I think I might actually need a Mega Evolution. And well, everyone is exerting, exerting their pressure. So anyway, I think I might actually need a Mega Evolution here. Because dust clubs got really good physical defense. I know that I'm higher level and Night Slash is just super effective, but you know, just to be safe, just to be safe. And what do you have next? You got a Masquerade! Let's actually stay in on that one. Because I... No, Intimidate! How dare she brought in four, 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 but whatever. Oh, I got Stone Edge. I don't really remember if my tank can learn Stone Edge. I'm pretty certain it's Evolution can learn Stone Edge, but... I... suck. Oh, I don't think I want to actually give it Sucker Punch. Basically, what Sucker Punch does... It's a priority move, but it only works when the opponent is using an attacking move. This move enables the use of the attack first. This move fails if the target is not ready in attack, so... I don't think I want to give it that, because it's just a little bit more powerful than Night Slash. But the opponent might actually not use a attacking move, so... I don't... I... well... You... Oh, that could actually have been a good idea! I was just thinking about... If I taught it Sucker Punch and I Mega Evolved... I mean, it wouldn't even be able to hit me, so... That could have actually been quite a good option, but it only has 5... 5 PP too, so... I don't know. Could have been... Could have actually been a really good strategy for Mega Absol, but... Anyway, let's just send headbutt this Tentacruel and we get the Quick Like Divation! Could have actually taken a little bit of that. Of course he freaking survives. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Uh, Barb, get out here and just take care of this thing that cruel for me, will ya? That would be really nice of you, Barb. Just saying. And... Uh, let's just... Uh, Venom shock it! How shocking, I know! And taking care of... I'll take care of you. Jaylon? Wow! I think I might drown! Wow! Like Waluigi. 
Are you perhaps the... No, he can't be. Ethan! He can't be that awesome to be the Pokemon version of the Waluigi. Anyway, let's just give him a tank's a milk! And he gets almost full health. Full striding health. Full... Yeah. So anyway, this leads to Route 126, which we've been to before. And this leads to Route 124, or... No, it doesn't. It leads to a trainer. Or a person. Yeah, it's a trainer. Bird Pokemon have excellent vision. They spot prey from great heights. And I s and you s seem to spot trainers from great lengths, I guess. So anyway, we got a Dodrio here from Byron. Byron, Byron. Anyway, my stomach is really growling, but again, stomach, you just gotta wait. I gotta take care of some tongues of some trainers here before I'll put food into you. Anyway, Meteor Mash! It's just one of those moves I really like saying, like, like saying like that, like, Meteor Mash! Anyway, try attack, that doesn't do a whole lot because. Oh, come on! Okay, what is this shenanigans? I gotta use it. Let's just heal Popular Let's just heal Matang with a Lumio Skelet. Oh, of course, to pressure. Acute pressure! If oh god, please. Please don't be please don't be like this. Just please don't Oh dear! Just please. Oh god! Oh god! Do I have any Pokemon? Oh, I'm no, no, it's actually not 100% accuracy. Do I have any moves that is 100% accuracy on my Pokemon? Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, this might actually take a little while, so let's try and break. And what is the odds of it raising its evasiveness two times in a row? Oh, this could be trouble. Oh, finally, this Dodrio has been hacking me to death. There we go. Oh, it got a critical hit on me. It just wasn't very fun. Anyway, we got a Satu right there, and I stayed in because I wanted experience for my tank. And then I switch out into Azula. Azula, I get out of here. I just want to get rid of this Satu. That Dodrio was really annoying. Psychic. And it doesn't work out in your favor. Yes, I will just night slash you and take you out. Hopefully, yes, indeed. Does take you out. Anyway, with that, Metangros up to level 45. Phew! I give up. You give up, you say? Well, you know what? I never give up. What is this? Metang is evolving. We got ourselves a Metagross, guys. Oh man, and my hammer arm! That is a fighting type move, I do believe. Yes, indeed. 100 base power. It, lower, it lowers your speed, unfortunately, but... Let's get rid of uh, Brick Break, shall we? So we have more powerful fighting type move. Again, it's only got 90% accuracy, but... Metagross is a fantastic Pokemon. It's got a massive a attack and defense stat. Look at that. 130 attack, 129 defense. Even though it has uh, that calm nature, which is really bad for Metagross, unfortunately, still's got massive stat. And we also got the Metagross side, which means we can now also Mega Evolve Metagross. And when Metagross becomes Mega Evolved, all of its stats, bar its HP stats, which can't change, it gets all base stats over 100. Its highest is defense with 150. It also has 110 base speed for a Pokemon of this magnitude. I mean, it, it, it's just incredible. It also gets the Tough Claws ability, which increases the power of most and makes physical contact 
by 33%. Oh my god, Me Mega Metagross looks so over... I wouldn't say overpowered because it's fantastic, but it just looks like such a good Pokemon. And we finally got it, and that was actually our final Pokemon that needed evolving, so our team is finally complete, but of course we don't have bubbles in our party, but there we go. I just wanted that to happen so we could have Metagross in our party. A shiny Metagross nonetheless, but finally it has happened. And all it had to take was a very annoying Dodrio. That was all it had to take. So anyway, uh, yeah, this was where we entered Route 127. And there's a lot of diving spots here, but I actually want I actually want to fight all the trainers before I do anything. And we're down to Route 128 now. And uh, let's actually fight this guy here. Oh, you want a battle, do you? Take a deep breath, and it's on! It's on like Donkey Kong! Anyway, Cornelius and his golem. Oh, I put four up front. That is not good. That is not a good matchup for Thor at all, unfortunately. So, let's, let's just get out of here and let's get Pan out here. I definitely want to try out uh, Meta Metagross' uh, Mega Evolution, though. So, anyway, Bulldoze. Yeah, that doesn't do all that, but my speed fell. Oh no, so I would not be able to outspeed this golem, unfortunately. Well, of course I am. Golem is just so slow. And why would you have a golem on the open sea, by the way? You would just get wrecked by everything you come across. And it's just a new, not a good idea there, Ace Trainer. Uh, do I, Metagross has bulldoze, but other, other than that, uh, but uh, Basula, let's do it. Let's get out of there. Let's get out of here, Asula. Pressure is on the right too. Just night slash it. Mega Evolve Night Slash. Asula is so awesome when it becomes Mega Evolve. I'm so happy that I decided to stick with Asula. Oh, it's actually pressure is actually still faster than me. Oh dear, that did a lot of damage. I did not ex Oh dear, this could be. This could be. Oh, I'm, I'm faster now because I guess. Oh, I guess because I am mega evolved now. I'm faster. The water stings my eyes. The what? Well, you could shock the water, and I guess the water wouldn't sting you anymore. <laughs> or I don't know. Anyway, we got ourselves a fisherman over here. I want to visit every ground day. So I caught myself a Pokemon that knows the move Waterfall to Crystal Falls. I, I don't have anything that knows Waterfall. If I did, however, bubbles were probably in no way. Anyway, we got ourselves a way over here. So let's, let's just take care of you nice and easy with a discharge. Don't even need a Mega Evolution. Don't even need that. And what are you going to have next? You are going to have a Seedra. Don't even need a Mega Evolution for that. I'm just so cocky that I, that I, or I'm just so confident or no, no, I thought I would, I think I would say, I'm just so cocky that I know I won't need a Mega Evolution for you, pesky trainer. Anyway, Wayne has been defeated. I'm crestfallen. I'm pretty certain that his name was not Bruce Wayne, because then he would say, I am not Batman. Or whatever. Anyway, if we head over to the east of here, as he said, that, that gets us to Evergrande City. But... Oh, we got. Actually, even if I didn't have this tube, I could still swim. We got this tube boy here, or tuber, right out here in the middle of nowhere with his. Love this. I'm just surprised to see a kid out here, I guess. But anyway, you can still swim better than me because I have, my character hasn't tried swimming at all in this in any Pokemon game. Because, of course, our Pokemon does the swimming for us. So I guess the protagonist in any Pokemon game haven't learned swimming. Oh, we got a tuber. Another tuber here. For some reason, this dude looks like a donut. I wonder if it would be a solution. Mm, donut. 
It definitely looks like a donut. And now I'm hungry for donuts. God damn you, Trooper! Now I have to go to the store and buy donuts! That is not what I had on my to-do list today! Well, I had my to-do list uh, to go to the store, but not buy donuts! How dare you, Tuber! How dare you, Marley? I'm, I'm hungry too! God dang it! Marlene! I love donuts. I wonder if Pokemon do too. I do wonder that too. But anyway, we're now over at Evergrande City. But as they said, right over here, there's a waterfall. And we can't climb. I don't believe it! A surf pro like me can't climb a waterfall. They should move waterfall. Rumor asks that you can't use it unless you defeat the Sutopolis City Gym Leader Wallace. Rumor, true fact! True fact from an ace trainer. Anyway, we can't do anything over here at Evergrande City. So, what we have to do then... Uh, I didn't even see you over there. Evergrande City is still a long way. Uh, where did you start from? Because it's not really that far away. Aisha, or however your name was pronounced. Anyway, we're going to bring down the ban hammer or the fun. Oh! Or we're going to bring down Overeat and maybe screw ourselves over. Yeah, it didn't do a lot of damage, and yeah, I could have potentially screwed myself over as well. It did. Oopsie daisy! I'm definitely crazy. I, I, think I get critical a little about that. I kind of deserve that. Anyway, ring down the thunder! There we go, it only took one extra turn to take out that Stormy, I guess. But anyway, you have been defeated. The first victory seems to be far away too. It is so far away. So anyway, what I want to do now is... You can dive down here on Route 128, and I'm going to do that. But I just want to check out this place first before I do anything. Oh. Oh, we got an area down. It has to be it. Ah, yeah, right there we got ourselves a protein. I knew there would be a hidden item. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I became a water type Pokemon. You became a water type Pokemon, eh? You just... It's just magical like that. You just... Do that and you become a water type Pokemon. It's just that easy. Try it too, kids. Because that will definitely work. You will also become a mermaid whenever you do that. You will become everything that you want because I'm a terrible human being and I I let you believe in things that I hate on this. Yes, I'm just, just such a jerk. Anyway, love this. Discharge! And you're down. And what you are not only a war type Pokemon now, but you are also defeated. Bloop, 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 bloop. So I guess that was the only real thing here on Route. Oh, I actually forgot to go over. Uh, the what? The only new Pokemon that you can find when you dive underwater on Route 120, and that is actually going to be Corsola. So that guy on Route 124 that was looking for a Corsola. Here is the route that, that you find it in. So anyway, this is what I wanted to do. Dive down here on Route 127 because I do believe there might be some items uh, that you can find here. No, no, didn't want to do that. Uh, because I remember in the original it was like rocks uh, in places that you could dive down. And let's see. Let's head up here. Oh! We got a screw. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. Uh, actually, I was about to say Cor Corsola, and, and I didn't even go over it. No, Corsola uh, might not even be worth going over because it's pretty terrible. Its stats are, uh, in my opinion, abysmal to say the least. It doesn't have a base stat over 85, and it's got a 4 times weakness against grass types, and it's really slow. Doesn't really learn that great of a move, so. I, uh, it, I guess it's more of a novelty Pokemon. It, it's definitely a challenge if you decide to pick yourself up a, a Corsula, but as I said, unfortunately, not very good, and you can only find it on Route 128. I actually want to dive up here to see where that where it takes me. Just because I'm curious. Oh. It just takes me over here, I guess. So anyway, let's just dive down yet again. 
And if you dive down here, you you can't actually come across any wild Pokemon. Just to let you guys know. Uh, because there are no grass over here, just just in case you were interested. I'm just diving up all the places to see if there's any interesting place that we can get to. No, no, okay, it does, doesn't look like that. I could swear. It, yeah, I fought you. Yeah, I fought all of you. I was just thinking that there might be some place where we had to dive down in order to get to, but... My, my mind may be playing some tricks on me, I don't know. That might very well be the case, but whatever. To see, oh, oh, I ne ne never fought you. Hey, have you heard of, of Mar Marine Snow? I don't believe I actually heard of a thing called Marine Snow. But anyway, Kaylin and her Stormy! Uh, you know what? After I'm... After I'm done fighting all the trainers here, I might actually go back to the Pokemon Center and get back out Bubbles because, as I said, Bubbles hasn't seen a whole lot of action recently, I, and, I think, and I think that she deserves it. She's been a really good Pokemon throughout our entire journey, and yeah, I think that might actually be a good good idea. Bloop. Since we're about to fight Team Magma then, and their pesky fire-type Pokemon, so that might actually be a good idea. So let's see, no, no, we're already been up there. No, we don't actually need a repel as I said, because it's really deep here. I, I don't want to fall down into the abyss here, because I'm pretty sure I will then be dead. So anyway, if we head over here, oh, it's our Chloe. And over here, it's the cave that we've been looking for. It's the cave where Team Magma went into. And... Next time on Pokemon- I really can't! Oh, yeah, we can't get that, really can't! But anyway, next time on Pokemon Omega Ruby, we're heading into the cave, stopping Team Magma once and for all. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.